Jason Bourne short movie review. Jason Bourne is back appearing in the world, you know, back on the grid for the first time in 12 years since the ending of his arc in 2004, which perfectly wrapped up the entire world of this. We, we expected now there wouldn't really be more of this really moral spy stuff since everything had been leaked to the press and there was, you know, Senate hearing kind of stuff. And this kind of just showed, well, you know, it's, yeah, it's been 12 years. There's there's new spy stuff and they apparently still have detailed files on Treadstone and Blackbriar, which I would really have expected them to get completely rid of after, but anyway, they're hacked. Could be worse than Snowden. Actually, never mind about that. It almost doesn't matter at all. Nikki's character gets screwed over and we're introduced to a new nemesis for Jason who has like a real, you know, there's and there's a real like there's a real nemesis kind of thing going on. They they really have a good reason to hate each other, which is just one of the many action film cliches that this as the first in the entire series has to to deal with. This movie has no reason to exist and it never makes a particularly good case for its own existence. This movie exists because Hollywood is afraid of new material and because eventually Paul Greengrass and Matt Damon said, okay, why not? We can make another movie. Never mind that it was perfectly closed off. The action is fine. Some of it isn't marred completely by the shaky cam and Paul Greengrass did realize that it really bothered people because there are entire scenes that have very little shaky cam and yeah, where the camera work in general isn't particularly distracting. The new cast members are pretty good. Tommy Lee Jones is always appreciated. Alicia Vikander is quite good as this very ambitious up-and-comer kind of for the, I want to say they call it the cyber division. Me, she deals with computer me, stuff, so I guess cyber division. And this movie shows that Hollywood still does not know how computers work. The you know, there's more about Bourne's secrets, there's more flashbacks. You know, yeah, there are more secrets in his past, there's stuff that he has to come to terms with. And you know, a lot of people are sent after Bourne and are beaten up or the like. There are chases, there are gunfights. At the end of the day, this doesn't really feel like Bourne. He's too careless. He doesn't appear to have a plan a lot of the time. He survives through dumb luck. There's one point where he literally survives because he, he jumps and he tries to hold on to a wire. But then the wire wraps around, you know, he, he doesn't manage to keep a hold on it because it's a freaking wire and he's supposed to be a normal person and, you know, a human being, not, you know, a top trained human being, but a human being. And once he, you know, just lets go because he is physically, he's pushed to the limit, then it wraps around his ankle and he's then... It, it swings him the rest of the way down, and then he drops from from that. That's not a cool kind of spy. That's it's reminiscent of that bit in the spirit, you know, where he gets pushed out the window. He survives things he really shouldn't. The yeah, the the movie just does not need to exist and really shouldn't. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.